Hey guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys a pretty cool uh, glow in the dark effect that is nice when for example creating a you know a disco scene or a science fiction scene or something like that. All right let's get started. So in your polygons menu we're going to start off by creating a, a, a cylinder and I'm going to drag that out in the grid. I'm going to pull that up a little bit. And we're going to get E to rotate that. And in our attribute editor, we're just going to make sure we're at exactly 90 degrees. Like so. All right. Hit 5 for shaded mode. And we're going to select that. Hit R. And we're going to stretch that out a bit. Something like that. Okay. Next, in our polygon menu, we're going to select a torus. Or a donut, as I call it. Something like that. We're going to hit E. We're going to rotate that so we can move it over the pipe. Make sure that's 90 as well. Like so. And we're going to start to position and scale that on the pipe. So I'm going to select that. W. Move that into position. Hit F to zoom in. Let's see if we center that okay. I'm okay with that. All right. Now we're going to go back and we're going to duplicate that a couple of times. So select it. Control D. One there. Control D again. One there. And shift select all three. Control D. And we're going to move them over here. And that looks. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to select the, the pipe. Actually, it's the cylinder. Right click on it, assign new material. And actually, I already got that here. MIA, MIA underscore material X. Got that. Go in the attribute editor to that material tab. Click on presets, select Chrome, and replace. Now I'm going to select the six rings, shift select, and select on all six. I'm going to right click on that, assign new material, and I'm going to go with a phone, a phone E in this case. And I'm going to change the color in my attribute editor to blue. And now I'm going to go to in the material in the color material to special effects go to glow intensity and i'm going to change that to 0 0.40 enter now i'm going to zoom in on that and actually i'm just going to put a quick ground plane underneath it just for just for effect purposes and i'll make that one right right click assign the material Phone E. I'll make that white. Okay. And I'm going to rotate that a bit. Something like that. Now we're going to go to our render settings. Because we used a mental ray material, we're going to select mental ray in render. I'm going to change my quality way up. My common, I'm going to select a size of, um, I don't know, HD 1080. Close. Okay, now let's render this. Now it's interesting, when you uh, hit render on this, um, you don't immediately see the material being as uh, reflective as you think, but you have to wait until the very last second of the render, and then it will show up. So just to... Uh, Bear with me, guys, for a second. Render time is not too bad, so I'm not going to pause it this time. And there you go. 
there's your reflective material. Hope you like it. Hope you have use for it. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.